What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is Keo Daikin coming back at you with another review. Today we are going to be talking about MAME and how to set up your controllers in MAME for your RetroPie device or MAME in general. So for a lot of you guys out there who have already been following me, this will be a continued series of how to modify or mod my Arcade 1UP unit from top to bottom. But again, with that being said, we're going to be discussing the MAME controls for your unit because uh, a lot of you guys out there have been asking a lot of questions and I've been personally getting asked, how do I properly configure my MAME controllers for my arcade cabinet? And in addition to that, how do I set up my MAME controls or light gun settings for my RetroPie device. Now I won't be going into too much detail today about the light gun setup. I will be doing that in another follow-up video which we'll be releasing pretty soon. But today we will be looking at the main controls and how you configure those for your uh, RetroPie or main games in general. Okay, so we're going to start off with one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, this particular game is X-Men, the six-player version. I know this one is running off of Advanced MAME 1.4. There are a lot of older games such as Galaga, Galaxian, and a lot of the older retro games which uses Advanced, uh, uh, Advanced MAME 1.4. And I am currently on a retro Pi device. I am not on fr uh, in front of a computer. Well, I'm actually screen recording to my computer, but I am not emulating on a computer right now. However, if you are using a computer, RetroPie device, Oldroid, or anything of that nature, and you are using MAME, then these control settings will also apply to you. So for startup purposes, I have a keyboard plugged in, and I also have an Xbox Microsoft controller plugged in for reference purposes. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing that you wanna do is hit the tab button on your keyboard. And this will pull up several different options. You have input general, input this game, calibrate joysticks, bookkeeping, game information, audio, video, and whatnot. So the first thing that you actually wanna do is go to input for this game. And you're gonna go ahead and hit the enter button. And this player, is, I'm sorry, this ROM is set up for six players. However, the five and six player slots are not set up. So the first thing that you want to do is select your controller. Uh, you already have your controller plugged in or actually navigating right now using a keyboard, using the up and down arrows on the keyboard. And what I want to do is I want to associate my start button uh, on my Microsoft controller with player one. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter and I'm going to hit the start button on uh, my controller and as you can see it says J start now if I had a second controller plugged in right now I would go ahead and adjust those as well second thing you want to do is the coin right now is defaulted to my number five button on my keyboard so oh, I need to associate a coin button for my controller if you were using a RK uh, one-up cabinet or RK cabinet you would want to make sure that your coin button is your little coin button or your button you may have defaulted for your hotkey as well. That'll also work. Uh, for your player start button at the top, if you were using your arcade uh, one up or an arcade cabinet, you would default your player one button to, uh, I'm sorry, your player one start button to your start uh, button that's on your, uh, uh, your cabinet setup. So coin button, I'm going to make that my back button. So that's already set up. And for my up and down functions, those are already actually set up. So up, I have either joystick up or I could use a the, the directional pad. So we'll hit enter and I'll hit D-pad up, D-pad down, enter, D-pad left, enter, def uh, default right. And my buttons are going to be uh, since my com my buttons on my Microsoft controller are set up X, Y, B, and A, uh, whatever your preference is on your buttons on your joystick or on your arcade cabinet, uh, go ahead and hit the enter button. We'll go ahead and make the first attack button X. Uh, jump is going to be A for me. And the enter button 
I, I just hit the enter button and we're gonna make the third attack button is uh, B. Now the third attack button for this X-Men game is going to be uh, my special. So uh, that's already set up. And for player one, player two, player three, and this is player four or five, you will go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you are playing an X-Men game or, uh, well, primarily an X-Men game in this case, uh, you'll notice that nothing is set up for five and six. So you would have to go through and set up all of those. Okay. Now, in addition to that, right now I am hitting up and down on my D-pad. Uh, nothing is happening because uh, this is the tricky part about main. There are two ways to configure your buttons in main. And uh, for a lot of you guys out there looking to modify your light guns and whatnot, this is a crucial point that you're going to need to pay attention to when setting up your light gun, <coughs> excuse me, your light gun settings <coughs> uh, for main. And I'm going to take you to that menu right now because I was actually stuck with this myself when I was trying to adjust all of my buttons uh, and set up all of my buttons directly on my light gun so I could just use it for everything, okay? The difference between these two menus is you have your input general and input this game. Uh, the menu we just looked at was the input this game, which allows you to configure all of your buttons specifically for character actions, movements, etc. Input general allows you to help navigate through the menu itself. So we're going to go through or go to the input general. And we're going to take a look at user interface. This is the, uh, before we actually get to user interface, let me take a look at uh, other controls that you guys have here. Just so you guys get a little familiar with uh, the menus and, you know, buttons and whatnot. You have service, tilt, door lock, volume down, keyboard, etc. So just wanted to show you guys that. But uh, we're going to take a look at user interface. And this is the part that gets very tricky, and this is the part where people say, Hey, Keo, I was using your game or I was playing your build. However, I had to turn my RetroPie device off in order to get out or log out. So uh, by default, right now, uh, using the MAME uh, interface, not RetroArg, but MAME, the escape button will allow me to log out of this game if I wanted to. And right now, I just logged out of the X-Men six-player game. And now that we're back in the X-Men game, we're going to go to Input General. Uh, we're going to go down to User Interface. And you have a lot of additional options here. And this is the option here you wanna pay very close attention to and make sure you set up. So the UI cancel option is the button or setup that will allow you to exit the main uh, interface. And this is something for a lot of you light gun modders out there. Again, this is not a full tutorial for how to set up your light gun using your dolphin bar, but these are some of the buttons you'll need to make sure you pay attention to to make your life a whole lot easier. So I'm going to change this UI cancel button on my uh, interface here from escape, which will take it away from my keyboard. And I want to make put this on either my arcade one up device or my arcade cabinet, or in this case, I'm going to use it on my joypad. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to use the hotkey. So the hotkey on my joypad is the big Xbox X button. So Every time I hit that now, it will allow me to exit out of the game. If you guys have followed my previous video on how to uh, uh, retro arc learning for noobs, um, essentially to exit out of a final burn alpha game or retro arc game, you would typically hit hot key and start to exit out of a game. So this button is equivalent to hot key and start to exit out of a game. So that's your UI cancel and uh, uh, interface right there. And of course we have some other options here. And I just wanna show you guys that it works. Let's go to exit out. And we're gonna hit the hotkey button. And as you can see, it took me back to the main menu screen here on my RetroPie device. And in case you guys were wondering, this is a full version of Supreme Unify that I'm using also known as Supreme V3. 
So uh, I will be releasing something like this in the near future. But uh, before we get there, we're gonna follow one more step. Now, I did set up my hotkey button to exit out of the main game itself, but what we're gonna do is set up our controls to navigate through the UI interface itself. So right now, the buttons are in my controls are set up to navigate and control the characters of the game, but you aren't gonna be able to navigate or control the UI interface of MAME. So let's go ahead and go back in and do that. And now that we back, we are back in our X-Men game, we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, tab again. And if you guys want to, you can also change this button as well. So let's go back into our input general, uh, user interface. And I am currently using my keyboard right now. And here we have it. So the options in order to uh, control the main interface itself using your joypad or using your uh, your arcade cabinet joystick, you want to go into the, uh, the user interface and pay attention to these options here, UI up, UI down, UI left, and UI uh, right, which will allow you to actually navigate the menu itself. Now I already have my joystick set up for my control pad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this with you. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and I'm gonna hit up on either my D-pad or my joystick. So uh, let's go ahead and do this joystick again. Now while you're doing this, uh, because I am using the keyboard to navigate through the interface, after I do the next two or three steps, my keyboard may go dead on me, so of course make sure you have your button set up correctly on your controller. So uh, UI down, I'm going to use my joystick or D-pad, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, UI, uh, oh, you see obviously my keyboard's not working anymore, see it's gone. Alright, so now I use my joystick, so we're going to go UI left. I'm going to hit the A button on my controller now because that's already activated. Left on the joystick. We're going to go down one, UI right. Press right on my joystick. And then, of course, I could do either select or cancel. Now, remember that the user controls are separate from the interface itself. So you'll have to set these up twice. So uh, currently, my UI select is enter or uh, the A button. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the A button again, obviously. Uh, UI cancel. Let's see. What do I have set up for my UI cancel? I think it's already MO button. So let's go to UI cancel. And we'll go ahead and make the, that the Y button for right now. Okay. And some of the other buttons you really don't need to change unless you guys are interested in changing your versions over to cocktail format or uh, recording your games. Those really aren't too uh, uh, important right now, but if you're into that type of thing, just make sure you memorize this is the menu you need to go to to change everything, okay? And we're gonna go to main menu. And we're gonna exit out and return the game. Okay, and now that we're back into our game, there's one last button we wanna make sure that we set up. And we wanna take away our tab function from our keyboard and assign that to our arcade cabinet, one of our arcade buttons, or, <coughs> excuse me, or in this case, one of our joypad buttons. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hit the tab button on my keyboard, go into input general, go to user interface, And we want to scroll down to config menu. Now I've actually already done mine. So in this case, I'm going to select my right button or left button. Really doesn't matter, whatever your preference is or whatever button you have set up. We're going to hit that. Oops, let's go back in. And I have assigned the right button in this case on my controller to my config menu. And what this will allow me to do is access this menu without having to plug another keyboard in. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out. And I'm gonna hit the right button on my joystick. And you will see I no longer have need to access or plug in or use 
my keyboard to pull up this uh, advanced main menu in RetroPie or any main device whatsoever. So uh, again, my name is Keel Dyken. If this video has uh, informed you about some things you don't know about or has helped you in any way, please consider either donating to my Patreon or subscribing to the channel. I will be doing some additional follow-up reviews on how to uh, modify your RK 1UP cabinet from top to bottom. And I will be doing some other additional walkthroughs and tutorials on light gun setup and some other tricky things you guys can do in uh, MAME, either scraping or creating your own image. So um, again, this channel isn't dedicated just to gaming. I do RC cars, I do video games, fireworks, uh, tech reviews. So uh, stick with me and I'm sure you guys will enjoy the channel. Hope you guys have a good day and I will catch you later.